And at this time, I will uh, pass the mic to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. S sit down. You're out of you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey. Sit down and don't play this stuff. The next shooting is right now, and you are doing nothing. No, he needs to get his ass out of here. This isn't the place to talk this over. This is totally predictable when you. Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Please leave this auditorium. Because the governor of the state of Texas, the most powerful man in the state, chose to do nothing. He went to Santa Fe High School after kids were killed in their classrooms, told the parents he would do something. He did nothing. He came to my hometown of El Paso after 23 people were slaughtered. He said he was going to do something. He did nothing. In fact, the only thing he did was make it easier to buy a gun. The only thing he did was make it easier to carry a gun in public. And he bragged about the fact that there would be no background check no training, no vetting whatsoever. It says this was unpredictable. It was totally predictable. And I predict this will continue to happen when you continue to have a governor who will not stand up for the people of Texas. His only interest is the gun lobby. He's scheduled to speak at the NRA convention this Friday in Houston, Texas, just days after these kids were slaughtered right here in Uvalde.